Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at bookmarks. Bookmarks are an easy way to store and go to a specific location in the viewport. If we take a look at these icons on the top bar here, you can see these are the default bookmarks from Preplican. These are related to the selected avatar or last selected avatar. So, for example, I can go to the post and you will see the viewport camera moving to this location, 45 degrees, full shot, etc. But this is relative to the, to the avatar I have selected. So, for example, if I select the avatar on my back, I can do exactly the same thing and it will move to the proper location of that avatar. So, let's go back here. Now let's take a look at the custom bookmarks. You can switch from default to custom on this icon and you will see that you have four custom bookmarks already. And in order to modify them or create new ones, you have to go to the bookmark tabs. You can see this, you can go to window, edit windows, bookmark. This will uh, pop up this panel. To create a new bookmark, you can click on create and it will add one more entry here. You can give it a name, let's call it tutorial. And then you have to select the behavior of the bookmarks. The most basic one is absolute. This will set the bookmark to a specific location in the environment and it will always go to that location. Then you can be relative to an, to an actor. So you can choose uh, an avatar and it will go always to that character. Then you can set this to relative to last selected avatar. This is how the default bookmark behaves. So it's going to be relative to the avatar you have selected. And in case you don't have anyone, it's going to remember the last one and it's going to go to that location. Then uh, I recommend uh, enabling the related to head. This way it's going to be a bit more precise depending on the proportion of your character and it's going to try to match the head location. So in order to set up the location of the bookmarks, you have two options. You can manually type the location and location here, or the fastest way is using the viewport settings. So let's create our first bookmark location. Let's enable use of the right. And we're going to navigate to this painting here. Okay, great. Let's focus the painting. And now if we click on this icon here, update from current viewport state, it's going to use the location of our current viewport and the settings of the lens override, and it's going to apply it to this bookmark. So let's click here. And now let's uh, go to any location in the environment. You can see we have a new bookmark here. If we press it here, it goes to the location and with the settings we established uh, earlier. Or you can use these two icons. One is for going instantly, so there is no blame. Let's try it. If I click here, it moves the camera instantly. Or you can blame for a smoother movement of the camera. Okay, now let's try another type of behavior for a bookmark. Let's create a new one. So you can see it's already enabled here. Let's give it a name. It's going to be the relative. And I want it to be relative to the last selected avatar. The relative to the head as well. And now let's mm, enable the lens override and let's go for this angle over here. Let's move it a bit back and let's focus again. Okay, so I want to use this specific uh, coming up placement relative to this character uh, as a bookmark. So let's uh, update from current viewport the state. And now if I move to any location, let's select this character. Let's go to custom and click on the icon. As you can see, it moves the camera to that location. And if I select the other character in the environment, I can click again and it go 
to the same relative position uh, as before. Um, you can move your character anywhere you want. So let's say uh, I move this character and place it here. If I select it and click again on the last custom bookmark that we made, it's always going to be in the same place relative to the selected avatar. Okay, so these are the fundamentals of how bookmarks work in Duplicam. So I hope you find this useful. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.